Joe Mixon is on the wrong side of the age cliff. We saw inefficient games from him as well, but we also saw, what, a five-touchdown game from him this past year? It was glorious. It won people weeks. It won people lots of money. However, Joe Mixon was not, like, once again, not very good, not very efficient behind the Cincinnati offensive line. We saw Samaj P. Ryan play a significant amount in, in this Bengals offense, and then there are other factors that go into play for Joe Mixon, like the off the field issues that are are now in play that the NFL is, is monitoring the, they reopen charges or possibility for charges and investigation of him. I don't think we have the full details up yet, but that now that that's reared its head and Joe Mixon could be cut any day, that is a possibility. But then we get a quote just yesterday from offensive coordinator Callahan saying that, oh, yeah, the Bengals are looking for someone to compliment Joe Mixon in this offense. Dan, how much of this do you believe and what is the truth with Joe Mixon right now? All right. So the truth with Joe Mixon is the best descriptor of his of his 2022 campaign was even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. <laughs> so he, he was not good. I don't know if he was just having an off year or whatever, but it looked to me like he just didn't have it anymore. So I'm very nervous about that. But even a running back who doesn't really have it anymore, put him in an offense as good as the Bengals, and every now and then he's going to luck his way into a five-touchdown game. These things do happen. So I don't think... Since Mixon has not been yet cut, I don't think they're going to. There's one thing we know is that Cincinnati is a very cheap, tight franchise. They do not like paying dead money to anybody. Uh, And they keep talking about Mixon like he's going to be there. I think the main concern with Mixon is that they draft somebody pretty high in the draft. Like if Jameer Gibbs goes to Cincinnati, that would be a real thorn in his side. And so I I think Cincinnati really wants to use this as a transition year to work on transitioning out of the Joe Mixon business and transitioning into whoever or whatever is next. Right now, Joe Mixon is going as the running back 30 on underdog fantasy. I think that's too low given what we, what trend we're seeing now. I think that this, I don't know if we're going full Josh Jacobs here, but I think that it's at least in a similar vein of this veteran running back that we've said is too dusty and has now fallen outside the top 24. And I'm, this could be a value even right now, Dan, are are you viewing Joe Mixon at running back 30 as a possible value? Oh yeah, absolutely. And on FFPC, he's been running about running back 24, 25, something like that. So he's been even a little bit higher and I still consider that to be a value. I've been taking some shares even over an FFPC here and there at that at that price. And I think the main thing is if if he doesn't get any significant competition in the draft somehow, he's probably going to bump up some. But if a Jameer Gibbs or somebody comes along, we could be looking at running back 36 Joe Mixon, which is going to be even more of a value because Gibbs is not one of those guys who's going to be handling 200, 225, 250 touches a game. They're going to need Mixon to to absorb a lot of touches. And Mixon, for all the fact that they don't use him as much as they could in the passing game, he still often does get five, six, seven targets every week. And that probably wouldn't even change that much. Yeah, I I like him as a value. Yeah, and just to throw it out there, Mixon last year was running back 22 in rate of being a top five running back, but he was running back 12 in rate of being a flex play for your best ball leagues. So he had a really nice floor because of that volume. And if they, if the Cincinnati Bengals add a pass catching running back, like maybe that just takes a lot of the Samaj P ride because right now it's Travion Williams. It's someone else behind Chris Evans. Who's more of a third down pass catching back that that kind of regressed in year two there is there is there are touches up for grabs in the backfield for the Cincinnati offense that even if they fill it with a day two pick day two running back I Mixon could very well be a value at running back 24 to 30 and they one thing that they've made pretty clear is they don't really think that much of Travion Williams or or Chris Evans. They just there there should have been opportunities for them to get in there more than they have and and P Ryan basically took everything that could have gone to them. Credit and, to P Ryan because he was 
in 2021, he was one of the worst pass blockers in the NFL. And then he somehow turned into one of the best. And so you have to give him credit where credit's due to earn his spot back because Chris Evans was a sleeper for me in 2022. I thought right. that he was going to be that running back too for the Bengals, pass catching third down. But no, P. Ryan earned his keep. So hats off to, half to, hats right. off to Samaje. I had a lot of Chris Evans bags in this ball last year. <laughs> Lots of zeros there.